Hey guys, welcome to this new series, Tour on Tuesday. Every Tuesday, at least for a little bit, I'm gonna be going through a new piece of equipment here in the studio. Whether that is audio, or a camera rig, or camera setup, or audio setup, or, 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 or kind of whatever, whatever I think is beneficial, educational for you guys to, to maybe pick up some new techniques, or to, to learn something new, or to, to, to find out what you wanna do with your creative, career or what like however you see fit i want to like help you learn some stuff so uh this is the new my new series i'm doing it just for a little bit um and right now is the first episode ever so let's get into the first episode hey guys welcome to the new show the tour on tuesday shows um this week i'm talking about this camera this is the vlog camera this this is the camera i used to vlog every day with um, um, and there's normally a road mic on here the reason it's the reason it's not on here it's because it's on this camera being used but there's something kind of annoying and kind of funny and a learning experience that, that that I learned while filming what which I would what I thought was episode one um, that is um, so this camera here has headphone out and input for a mic. This here is microphone, this here is headphone. And what's annoying about that is like, I was plugging it in and not really thinking about it, I plugged it in, and I started recording the entire first episode here. And then this happened. Hey guys, welcome to the new weekly show. No, darn it, wrong square. Do you hear how shitty that sounds? That's because I was using the onboard microphone. There's a, uh, I don't know where it is on the camera here. It's it's like right in here. It's some like really shitty mic that's not great. Um, and I wasn't even using the, the this proper video mic I, I, I use all the time, this Rode Video Mic Pro. So necessity is the mother of invention. So I'm not gonna invent anything, but I'm gonna modify this camera just a little bit more. And here's how I'm gonna do that. Uh, black electrical tape, scissors, very easy to do. Tape right over that headphone jack so I never use it ever again. I don't use it anyways. Um, okay, so now that's fixed. Okay, now, now on to the actual episode here. Um, I'm gonna go through my, what, what, what settings I use on the camera and how I'm setting up this vlog camera and, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the first episode. So, I mean, that's it's fixed now. Okay, so now that this is fixed, let's uh, let's go through it since I'm gonna be touring like m some equipment here. Um, this is gonna be a very very basic tour. Not every tour that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this basic. Um, okay, so this here's a Canon 80D. Uh, I do just like take out the branding. There's one more brand in I have to take care of. I can't believe I haven't done this, uh, done this yet, but I just take out branding. And, and before I go on the tour, I'm digressing here. Um, let me explain why, why I take out branding. I believe that, I believe that in filmmaking, or really in anything in general, it's not about the tools that you have, but how you tell the story or how you how you use the tool not necessarily what the tool is or how expensive the tool is but how you use the tool okay back to the uh, back to the tour I, I'm I'm just all over the place today okay so this here's a Canon ADD um, and on here is a Canon 10 to 22 now, the reason I picked 10 to 22 is is because so behind me and around the studio as as if, if you haven't seen the studio maybe I'll probably plug the studio tour. It's cuz I have a lot of stuff on the walls and 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 that brings character into into these videos. And so when I'm when I'm vlogging like this and I I, I don't want it just to be of my face. I don't I don't want it to be like like, like this the whole time. I want it to 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 Make show you show you what's around me show you what I'm pointing at show you give you give you some more 
context. So I went with a really, really wide angle. Um, the one I'm filming here is a 10 to 18, and that that's what I started with before this 10 to 22. The reason I went with 22 is like I can zoom in just a little bit more than than normal. Um, so that's why I went with a 10 to 22. It kind of brings more more that, and and also like the 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 um this doesn't like warp as much i know like i know that these these wide angles like warp on the sides i've noticed this doesn't do that as much it's it's a little bit nicer in that way um so that's what this is i use is at least when i'm like vlogging or if i'm filming by myself everything i do is on automatic mode um iso on um, you know i have the the focus on auto um all that all that is is on auto for only for the reason of when I'm filming by myself, I don't want to have to worry about be being the camera guy as well. I just want to be on camera. If I was going to film a project for a client or for anything, I would only use manual. Okay, so now let me show you like what settings I'm using. And, and th these are not like the best settings in the world or, or anything. It's just what I like to use. Maybe, maybe you'll like to use them too. Okay, so here are the settings I'm using on the camera um all right so this is like iso here so i can get really stupid super bright and really really stupid super dark i go like normally here i go to zero and then one up i just notice it looks better and it's it, i don't know i i kind of like it um okay and then here uh this is on 60 frames a second only because i was working on a project that I needed 60 frames a second for. Normally I shoot in 30. And the reason I shoot in 30 is I noticed that when shooting in 30, it's a little bit, it's obviously more smooth than, than 24. But like, I'm not the best camera guy, at least when shooting the vlogs. I'm a little bit jumpy and all over the place. And it's a lot less motion sickening when I shoot in, in, in 30. So that's the reason I do that. All the cameras I have, I'm shooting in 30. These are all the same. Um, this is the autofocus I'm using. Um, audio levels right now. Auto white balance. Picture style is just the, all the auto. So everything else, as you can see, is auto. Um, that, th but this is only when I'm shooting my vlogs or, 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 or videos like this. So I don't have to worry about being the camera guy. I can worry about being on screen talent. So, uh,. Yeah, like I started out with a T3i when I when I first got into photography and film, I, I, I started out with a T3i, which is it's probably like a three hundred dollar camera, which wasn't like it, it's not like the best camera in the world, but it's also not like the shittiest camera in the world. So it's a good starting starting point. Um, I have friends that film vlogs with their iPhones, um, so you actually have a camera right in your pocket. I mean Samsung iPhone, whatever that is. Um, with your cell phone, so again, it's not like this is great to have. I love this, but I could also shoot it with anything. So just want to make that note again. But so this is the Canon um, 80D uh, with a, a 10 to 22 millimeter lens, and, that, and those are the settings. Everything for me is auto. Um, people think I'm like an amazing camera guy while shooting. Uh, to be honest, it's it's auto. Um, so that is the first episode of Torn Tuesday. Thank you guys. I know it was a quick, short one, but you know, you gotta, I gotta fix the camera a little bit, like, get, get, put that little remedy on it. Helpful for me, and to make these better, and faster, and quicker to film. Um, and, and, and you gotta learn a little bit, hopefully, if you don't know much about DSLRs, or vlogging, or, hopefully you gotta learn some stuff. So, um, I'll see you next Tuesday, um, for another tour. See you Tuesday.